so what i have done is so i opened the three tools and then the first thing i wanted to do is backup and restore that's the ios uh, device it is detected and go to the all backup add a backup i already download a file under my documents so that's the bypass one so i will go in here underneath you can see um, two files here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag and drop that file from the folder so this is the documents underneath you have that file so i'm going to drag and drop this let me move and then i'm going to drag and this is the file i made it so i'll extract two <coughs> i'll extract two documents okay so it is extracted so i will go in here and the documents minimize this is the folder which got extracted so i will select add a backup and the documents and this is the folder say okay so it is got added so i will check that and then i will do restore all data and it says that find my iphone is deactivated it is checking the file and it does the restore so it is still <coughs> MDM lock so I'll see start recovery and it does the process and it will take some time and it will restore and then as you can see it is getting about to finish and it does the recovery data is recovered waiting to reboot the device <coughs> Once it is rebooted, you can see it is rebooting. <laughs> once it is rebooted, <clears throat> this is the first step. So once this is done, don't do anything on the um, iPad um, even after the first step is completed. Uh, so it says the data is recovered, it is completed and it is doing its process here okay let it complete so once this is complete the problem here it is whenever you upgrade a new version of um, ios pretty much you need to redo this uh, because this would um, you know reset the mdm profile again so it is done now so what i'll do is i'll go to uh, i'll close this and i go to um, ios device and let me see it is says activated yes so i'll go back to toolbox and i will deactivate the device I'll say start deactivate. Okay. Let me select that. Start deactivate and it will wait for 10 seconds. <laughs> Just to make sure that it there is no Apple ID and to start the deactivation process. So now I have it and I will deactivate in there. So it is successfully deactivated. So this is one. We install the backup and restore it. The second step is deactivated. 
And now I close this. And I will close the tools. But it's still a little fuzzy. I'll come back with the next step. The next step is we need to run the batch file as we explained before. So the batch file is under this folder. So I'm going to extract this. And read extract to I'll say my documents delete create a folder. So it is extracted. I'll go to my documents. And underneath I should see this one uh, bypass right so underneath that's where the the batch file is so I'm going to run the batch file this one I'll just say that double click and extract as you can see it is running it is bypassing it says bypass completed uh, Escape. okay so now I, since I have done that and it is restarting the iOS device so I will open the once it is complete let me open it <coughs> so it is complete it is open now I open the three tools back again now I need to go back and act, um, you know activate the device um, so it is as you can see it is not activated so I will say activate and then I will say that skip the setup process and just do the activation alone okay so and I will start the process and as you can see it is activating it says under activation and it says activation succeeded I'm waiting for the device I click ok here and did I say that it is activated I will click here click the home button as you can see the MDM bypass is complete so that's how the process to get the bypass done so this is until either you don't um, update the software or go to the process again go through the process again if you did go through updating your iOS device hope this helps um, if you have any questions please message me I will try to respond as soon as possible and please subscribe I will come up with another tech video thanks for watching